Welcome to the Intro to the Chemical Kinetics playlist. At the beginning of thermodynamics, we saw this following diagram where we have initial conditions uh, represented by some set of physical quantities within a chemical system, and then some process occurs, and then some final conditions result. So in thermodynamics, we asked questions about this system, and the types of questions that we would ask are, can this process happen, i.e., is it spontaneous? Can it happen by itself, or do we have to input some external energy into the system in order to make it happen? And then if, for these physical quantities, we asked, what are the final equilibrium values for these physical quantities? So things like pressure, temperature, volume, um, Gibbs energy of reaction, internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, all those sorts of things. We asked, what were they at the beginning? What were they at the end? How did they change? And uh, based off of that, will this can this reaction happen or not? Can this physical process happen or not? And in kinetics, we're going to ask related but slightly different questions, which are primarily related to the time scale of these processes. So we'll ask questions like, how fast does this process occur? And things like, what factors control the rate at which this process occurs? So thermodynamics either gave us a yes or no answer for can this process happen, but the yes, the no was very strong. So the no, if thermodynamics says no, then it, it can't happen unless you have some uh, external input of energy. But if it says yes, that's not saying that it will happen, that's saying that it can happen. So kinetics will tell us how fast something happens uh, given that it is possible according to the laws of thermodynamics. For example, the transition from uh, uh, graphite to diamond or diamond to graphite, I forget which it is. One of those is slightly lower in energy than the other, but we don't see our diamonds uh, converting into graphite uh, over time. So kinetics tells us what factors control how fast we go from one thing to another, uh, even, even if thermodynamics says it can happen. Okay, so what are we going to study in this playlist? Um, there's going to be a couple things that we'll cover. So things like starting off with the kinetic theory of gases. So the kinetic theory of gases is primarily concerned with the property of individual gas molecules, things like their velocity distribution. And we can use that to really build up from the properties of the individual molecule and how it's moving back to what some macroscopic properties are like pressure and temperature. Much as we use statistical mechanics to look at uh, individual molecules in an ensemble and then that built up to the thermodynamics of an entire system. The kinetic theory of gases is kind of the molecular basis for how gases behave how they do and how that builds up to a macroscopic picture that we can measure. And we're also going to look at reaction rates so that's our primary concern in this uh, playlist, in this set of chapters. Reaction rates tell us how fast the concentration of one chemical species change over time, how fast our reactants disappear, how fast our products build up, and also things about other kinds of you know intermediates, about rate constants for our reaction, and about um, how the rate changes with concentration of, of various species. And then finally, given this, given this information about reaction rates, we can have that inform us about reaction mechanisms. So if we know what the rate law is, we know what the factors are that control how fast this physical process goes, which for most cases is going to be a chemical reaction. That, that reaction rate gives us insight into what that reaction mechanism is, and it, it rules out some possibilities and tells us what it's consistent with for some other possibilities. And you can analyze in more detail some kind of more complicated situations like enzyme catalysis or situations where you have multi-step reactions.